Yes, dear friend, welcome back to the channel. This is Salon's Block, and I'm welcome in a very special way. Please like the video, share the video, and subscribe to the channel if today is your first time of watching us live from Malaysia. Yes, I said live because I am recording it live, and I'll be posting it immediately. Look, it is our match day. Today is Chelsea's game, and it is a match that Chelsea is expected to win. Even though Everton, we all know, they are going to come out and come out fully because they have nothing to lose. They are going to come out and attack. They are going to come out and play their game. They are in form. Everton right now, as we speak, Everton is in form. No doubt about that. They have won back-to-back -back games in the previous two games matches that they played. They are still fighting to accumulate points. They want to rise from their position where they are right now. Remember, they were deducted 10 points. And so they look to be at the last, the last four. They are the last but four on the league table right now as we speak. Yet they are not giving up. And they have nothing to lose. So they are going to come out at Chelsea. I just hope that tonight our boys, our guys on the pitch of play, they will deliver. Conor Gallagher, Moise Casaido, Enzo in that midfield. Look, I am not giving my team, pred team uh, uh, lineup yet. But I want to believe that these three are going to mount our midfield. But one player that I'm missing out so much that many people did not think, think of, that I, I really don't know what happened, is Kanichuku Emeka. Casuals will not understand how much we have missed Kane. He's under the radar, but a big miss in many ways. Tactically speaking, Kanichuku Emeka, we are missing him tactically. Honestly speaking, he is not just a creative player. He can score goals from any angle. He can score goals from any angle where you least expected it. Kanichuku Emeka, we are really missing him. That is my opinion. You can tell me in the comment section what you think about Kanichuku Emeka. Yes, I know that I am missing him. But you see, to other news before I come back to Chelsea again, I have seen something that amazes me, that shocked me, about all these pundits or pundits, whatever they call them. Gary Neville and Roy, Roy Keane, they rate Gallagher's chances in England squad. And this is what they have to say. Gary Neville, the other one option is Conor Gallagher, who is obviously played, but he, he is a runner. Really? Now, listen to the worst part of it. Roy Keane, Roy Keane, this is what he has to say. He said, no, I don't think he is good enough. Conor Gallagher isn't good enough for the England squad. Get your boots on, Roy Keane. You see, sometimes some of these guys, eh, well, they are being paid to speak or to talk. So we don't blame them. These guys can ruin someone's career. They can destroy someone's career. Dear friend, wherever you are watching me from, take it from me. These guys, they are damaging people's career. When they were football, when they were playing, that is no wonder. Pep Guardiola asked, one of them recently, when he was playing, how many caps did he lift? It? How many trophies did he lift? It? That was a very good question Pep threw at him. Very good question Pep Radiola threw at him. These guys can ruin people's career. Well, 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 well. Dear friend, yesterday's games, one that surprised me most, which well, many are talking about. Let me start first of all. Do you know that even in Germany, even in Germany, Frankfurt beat Bayern Munich 5-1. In Germany, Frankfurt beat Bayern Munich 5-1. In German League, Bundesliga, 5-1 to Frankfurt. They have made it 5 against Bayern Munich. A historical victory in the making. My dear friend, my goodness. My goodness. My goodness. <laughs> hey, seriously? Then, coming to the bigger news in the Premier League, Manchester United, after all, after all, after all, after all, after all, 3-0. After all, after all, after everything, 3-0. Against who? Bournemouth. Well, I'll not go into that. After everything you guys did and said about Chelsea, but My, wait! <laughs> Yeah, friend, let me hear from you in the comment section. Yes, let me hear from you in that comment section what you think about all that I've, I've said here so far. And hey, Chelsea, we are still under or facing some major injury setbacks. Injury setbacks. And I'll quickly go over that for you to know.
that when I'm coming back again with my team prediction, you know the availability of players. Yeah. Like we all know, or we are already aware, Christopher Nkuku is out. And it, it be said that progressing with reconditioning phase of his rehabilitation, Malogusto starting the reconditioning phase of his rehabilitation, Trevor Chaloba continuing to undergo his rehabilitation program, Ben Chiwell continuing to undergo his rehabilitation program, Kanechuku Emeka continuing to undergo his rehabilitation program, Wesley Fofana continuing to undergo his rehabilitation program, Leslie Ogochuku continued to undergo his rehabilitation program. Romeo Lavia progressing with reconditioning phase of his rehabilitation program. Dear friend, that is our injury situation right now. And so when we are giving the team lineup, you should know who and who is going to come up. Yes. Everyone knows against Brighton, we played one half with a player less. But a game against Manchester United was another game. It can't be on the mind. We have to keep pushing even if we are tired. That is it. That is it. It wasn't just those in contention to feature at Goodson who were out on the training pitches today. Or yesterday. Let me put that with yesterday. Yeah. Trevor Chalova, for instance, who has yet to play this season due to injury, and Ben Chiwell were also pictured. These two were pictured at the training pitch today. The duo continued their respective rehabilitation programs on the grass in the morning. So right now, Trevor Chalova is back on the grass. Ben Chiwell is back on the grass. That is a good news and a great news for Chelsea. Yeah, it is a great news for Chelsea right Gallagher's suspension came after he dismissed her against Brighton a game that Chelsea won 3-2 despite playing more than an hour with 10 men Pochettino however felt the exertion of that performance impacted the Blues in midweek against Manchester United which I didn't buy the idea I didn't buy I didn't accept that it's just an excuse for me but possibly it's a tiredness especially at this stage of the campaign, is common. Yet, it is not something Axel de Sassi is prepared to use as the reason for our disappointing display at Old Trafford. This is what he said before I let you go. He said, I don't like to speak about fatigue because when you are on the pitch, you have to give everything. When you are on the pitch, you have to give everything. My dear friend, this is Axel de Sassi speaking. Tonight's game, I will expect him to be in my lineup, my predicted lineup. I will see you in the next one when you see me. Shalom and peace.